Uh, okay, I I record I it's not I record it. <laughs> it's recorded already. <laughs> I'm Farah N and I'm a national artistic gymnast for Malaysia. Um, so it will be floor exercise, um, uneven bars, and bolt. <laughs> I want to say scroll my phone. I actually get up straight away and make my bed. <laughs> um, Confident by Demi Lovato. Uh, I'm most looking forward to competing in the arena. I know that it's going to be very different from what I imagined, but I imagine being out there with all the outstanding athletes uh, is going to be very exciting. Um, so it would be my water bottle, my phone, and I guess my tape. But because it's different, my gym bag for training, everything is in my cupboard and competition is different. So that three would be in training because most of our stuff is already there. <laughs> I love food in general, but I do have an answer. I love salmon sashimi. Um, so now it's uh, Ramadan, so I really enjoy um, the feeling of Ramadan. Of It's basically like a purification month and it really comes back down to the center and about giving to others and also uh, kind of making yourself better in every aspect of your life. For Olympic sport, it would be uh, diving. And for Winter Olympics, it would be ice skating. <laughs> the one most similar to my sport. <laughs> uh, I always get this question and it's so hard because I've been doing gym since I was like three years old. But I think that I would want to dabble in um, like theatre or acting. Because I've been to most countries in Southeast Asia, but I haven't travelled in those countries because you know when you go for competitions, so I actually want to do a, like an Asia tour and then I want to do a European tour. I guess the easiest thing is to be able to do splits. <laughs> I think the hardest thing about being a gymnast is um, how taxing it is on your body and like the skills and also like even though you're a pro, pro athlete, sometimes uh, hard skills can be very hard on the body and also on the mind uh, being able because you have to do it like day in and day out and sometimes it can get very taxing. Binge watch TV series or movies, um, spend time with my family uh, and actually read. So it would be probably uh, to KLCC where the Twin Towers are, um, to a nice cafe uh, with my friends or uh, to the parks, uh, there comes at the Pushajaya parks. Instagram. Early birds. Sleep. Netflix. <laughs> That was a hard one, I was like, ah, <laughs> Sneakers. Pancakes. Uh, dress up. Oh. This is a hard question. Dress up, dress up. Because I'm always dressed down all the time, so being dressed up is like, you know. Music. Roti Chanai. Nasi lemak. Ice kacang. Uh, believe in yourself.